Good afternoon everyone, it's me Nigel Seeley. Uh, welcome along to this video. Uh, just a little quick update, Roy Giovanni is away on holiday for the next few weeks, so uh, he won't be with us until the US Open starts and the tennis action really does continue, which means we will not be having a WTA game bet match podcast for the next few weeks. So that's why I'm here. I'm just gonna give you a quick video, give you my thoughts on the action this week on the WTA 500 event in the capital of the United States of America in Washington, DC. Uh, before we go on to the draw, the conditions, as you know, a lot of people follow this across our stateside. The weather in Washington is very hot, humid, and the court conditions are gonna be very, very fast indeed. If we look at the previous winners, last year there was a shot winner with uh, Sam Sonova winning the tournament, 2018. It was won by Jesp Hegula, and I think Jesp Hegula here, the number one seed, is going to go far again. Um, she's got a good record here. She's a former winner and a former finalist, and uh, I think she's going to take some stopping. The American number one finds it really, really tough to sort of hold her nerves and the pressure on the Grand Slams. But in these W two, in these five hundred and two fifty events, she has a brilliant record, and she just finds it a little bit more easier to to play her best tennis. And I think she's going to be very hard to beat. I would admit, though, the top half of the draw, where Jess Pegula finds herself in, is quite difficult. She has uh, number four seed, Zachary, and that has been very inconsistent. She has Madison Keys, who's very going to be very dangerous in these conditions. Uh, Kazakh Kina, as well, who's got, is pretty dangerous as well. And she has the the, uh, the wildcard, sorry, Svitolina, who reached the semifinals of Wimbledon. So it's a pretty decent WTA Tour event this week uh, across uh, in America. In the bottom half of the draw, I would say it's slightly easier. The number two seed, Carolyn Garcia, is a massive fade for me. I can't have the French girl at all. Coco Goff could go deep, but she didn't play at all well at Wimbledon. So uh, question marks about her form. And I don't think the quicker it is, I don't think that's going to suit uh, the American number two. Uh, Belinda Bencic, she's in that bottom half of the draw. And you've also got defending champion uh, Sam Sonova. So where is my money uh, on the outright market? Well, I've got to go for Jess Pegula. It's not original, but at plus 330 with Bet Rivers, I think she will go deep this week. Um, if you look at the outright market, she is the favourite. So you, it's the usual suspects, as you would expect, in that list of betting. And I think we've got to have a play at the bottom half of the draw, an each way play. And I might surprise you with this one, but I'm going to go for the former US Open champion, Bianca Andreescu. She's up against Kostyuk in the first round. I have an opinion on that match, which I'll come on to in a minute. But in the second round, she should play Carolyn Garcia. I've already said she's a fade, uh, but Garcia will have a bye. And I think Andreescu showed signs at Wimbledon that she's coming into some form. She did lose in the third round, but she played really well in defeat against uh, eventual finalist and the player who, who's been the finalist for the last two years at Wimbledon, on Jabeur. And I think we might see a bit of a run from Andreescu. She's had big problems with her injuries. Uh, but I think coming into this part of the season, the American hardcore campaign, where the conditions will suit her, uh, she likes playing in the heat, she likes the quickness of the court, and I think you might see the best of Andrescu of this season in the latter parts of it. So I think Andrescu at 25 to 1, for a price for a former major winner in a draw like this, is too big to ignore. Uh, let's look at some matches. So I'm going to go for one match today in Washington, and that's that match, and that's that player I've just mentioned, Bianca Andrescu. Uh, She's up against Marta Kostyuk, the Ukrainian girl. And I think at minus 136 with Bet Rivers, we've got a better at minus 136. They've met once before earlier in the year in China. And Andrescu won that match very easily. Six love in the first set. Much more difficult in the second uh, set, but seven six. There has been money for Kostyuk today. She did reach the third round of Wimbledon as well, as what Andrescu did. But she was beaten by Madison Keys. But her form going into Wimbledon was pretty bad. She lost in the first round of Birmingham, just in the first round of the French Open. She did reach the third round at uh, Rome, but she ran into Paolo Badosa and didn't play at all well. And I think Andrescu will get the job done here. I'm going to go for her on the money line, minus 136, because I'm going to parley it. But I think if you're going to play on the spread as well, minus one and a half for Andrescu at minus 113. If you want to get a little bit more juice in your price, I wouldn't put you off that. I think the Canadian beats Kostyuk. And once he gets past her, I think she can go deep in a tournament. So very much on the side of Andrescu uh, this week. And tomorrow, I'm going to go for Victoria Azarenka to be Elena Svitolina. Now, uh, many of you may remember, these two played at Wimbledon in the round of 16. They went all the way to a final set tiebreak, a marathon match, and Svitolina edged it. Svitolina reached the semi-finals at Wimbledon, but she was 
blown away by Von Drusova. And she looked exhausted, the Ukrainian. She looked exhausted physically and she looked exhausted mentally with what she's had to do with her campaign in her homeland for the fight uh, again, in favour for the for Ukraine. And um, I feel that she's running a little bit on empty. We know she's been off the tennis circuit for an awful long time. She's come back and won a tournament, reached the semi-finals of Wimbledon, which is staggering. But uh, she hasn't played in a hardcore event on the main draw this year. And I think Azarenka gets revenge for that defeat at Wimbledon. The other thing you've got to remember about in this match is they met five times previously before they met at Wimbledon. And Azarenka won every single one of those matches. And I think normal service will, will, will resume here. I think Svitolina is there for the taking. And I'm going to go for Azarenka. That match is tomorrow at 7pm Eastern time. The uh, Andrescu game is today, 1.15 p.m. Eastern time. So make sure you head to the Bet Rivers website to get those bets on. If you want to play the parlay, it plays plus 2.18. That will do for me. Uh, remember, there's some brilliant content here on Betting Weekly Game Bet Match, the tennis podcast with myself and Sean Calvert. We're previewing all the events uh, and stateside and across in Europe, in Austria. We've got a podcast tomorrow, which will drop uh, tomorrow.